I was surrounded by the smell, the pungent odor of teenage boy sweat lingering in the air as I walked through the door to the middle school upper gym. The wrestling team had just finished practice. I was there for a karate workout, and that pungent odor was going to be the least of the obstacles I was going to encounter in the next hour. We did a brief warm-up. Sensei Rick said, pick a partner for sparring. Now I chose Sensei Rick. I was training for my black belt, and I needed to give myself a challenge. Sensei Rick is this wide, this tall, and he is all muscle and speed. Think of a solid concrete wall. No, think of a human bulldozer. That's who I was sparring with. We took our fighting stances, and we were into it. It was a flurry of kicks and punches and evasive moves on Sensei's part. I couldn't kick, I couldn't hit, and I couldn't block. He chased me all over the upper gym. This is Sensei Rick. <laughs> this is me. He stopped. He said, come. What's going on with you? You're not in this fight at all. I don't know, Sensei. I just can't seem to get anything right. You're thinking too much, you're in your head, you need to react and respond. You need to give me the fight of your life and don't see the color of my belt. I'm thinking, your belt is black, you are a very big man, you are a very big black belt. <laughs> Pep talk over, we were at it again. It was point after point after point for Sensei. It was nada, zilch, nothing for me. In a last ditch effort, I stepped forward for another attack. He swept my leg out and down I went on the mat. And then the human bulldozer leaped in the air. And I remembered a science lesson that said, what goes up must come down. And sure enough, Sensei Bulldozer started to descend. I lashed out with my foot. I caught him at the ankles and I turned him from vertical to horizontal. Let's freeze that bulldozer there for just a second. What would be going through your mind? What would you be thinking? Dude, roll. I know, right? I was thinking, did I turn off the iron? <laughs> Too late, I'm going to die. Did I close the garage door? Again, I'm going to die. Who cares? Did I call my mom? Too late. <laughs> and he slammed down on top of me. Easily rolled off, stood up, stopped the class. I did a quick body check, nothing broken, still breathing. My pride was hurt. We stood up, we bowed, shook hands. He stepped closer. He said, you have to move out of your own way to be successful. He walked away. I'm over here going, move out of my, move out of my own way to be successful? You know, I couldn't wrap my head around it. It should have been obvious, but it wasn't. I thought about it the whole rest of the workout. As I was walking out the door, I had to step around a gym bag that someone left in the way. As I'm walking down the steps, I thought, what a weird thing. Someone just left that in the way. It's an obstacle in the, it's an obstacle in the way. I was an obstacle in my own way. On the way home, I wondered, was I doing that in my relationships, my job as a teacher, my role as a leader? What about you? Are you that person who's keeping the team from completing the project on time? Are you the leader who says, communication strategy, we don't have time, we don't have resources? Now I paid attention. I took what Sensei said to heart. I was thinking about things, really working hard, really working smart. And I was able to make changes, not just in the dojo, but in my personal and professional life. Big changes. You want to know what the biggest change was? I went to this place where I finally could believe that I was capable and could enjoy the success I wanted. Now, maybe you're recognizing yourself in this. Maybe you're feeling stuck. Maybe you really aren't achieving everything you want to. Get a coach, get a truth teller, someone who will speak to you honestly and with ruthless compassion to tell you, yes, you're stuck. Yes, you need to move out of your own way to be successful. Now, if that doesn't work, I'm pretty sure Sensei Rick, the bulldozer's available. 
Oh, by the way, six months later, I became a black belt. Ooh.